Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about templates and doing things from scratch. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, well, do professional programmers use prepaid templates? And the short answer is no, pretty much never. We never use any like like of any of these templates like CSS templates or website templates that you can find out on the internet and buy and then add your own content to usually you build all the things from scratch. Let me explain. So this question was a little bit of a story where this person was stating that oh I feel like a junior developer because I'm still in school and I, although I have a few clients I can't really build a website from scratch without having some template already existing for me. So what I wrote back to the subscriber was that dude you don't have to worry all that much because I can tell you that by most professionals definitions you would not be considered to be a professional developer. You're definitely a junior developer and that's fine if you're still I mean if you're in still <laughs> if you're still in high school or like college or something like that and you have you don't have an ability to work with CSS HTML or anything like that f and build things just by requirement then you should definitely not to consider yourself to like you don't don't put so much pressure on you because then you you have not progressed to the point where you need to have anxieties over that you don't know enough that's usually what happens when you actually start working and you do things for real and what i'm trying to say here is that the these templates that you can buy that some web designer or designer has made for you and then you kind of fill in the content or you might tweak it here and there or do something like that these templates they make money for people not that much money in comparison to other things but they do make money for people who are selling these because there are people out there like yourself who you just want a concept like you're not really you're not looking for customization, you're not looking for a long-term solution or a visual framework of some sort that you're gonna keep around forever and ever. You're looking for a quick solution to a very simple problem and that usually is what happens at the very lowest levels of software development. So I would say that these prepaid templates are almost exclusively used by amateur programmers or people who are just building their own personal website or something like that very, very, very small consultancy agency projects where you're basically making a website from a pizzeria or like a local shop or something like that. Or also by, uh, in, as in this case, by freelancers who just have a very similar sort of situation where they're building something for a very small company. Now serious IT projects or professional grade software development usually doesn't include it in something like this. It's, I've never seen it. I've never even talked to anybody who does this on a regular basis. But in that scenario, what usually happens is that the IT companies will have designers or concept artists or something like that who have a, like they have an idea of what it is that they want. And they will usually produce artboards of some sort, design artboards. They, these are usually like Photoshop files or they might be sketch files or some visual or visual tool that they have in order to represent what they want it made right. And then as the front-end developer or the developer is going to do this, you are responsible for basically making it look the way that it looks on the artboards and taking requirements, making everything responsive from scratch. Sometimes you might be able to leverage a framework such as Bootstrap or similar sort of frameworks, but usually you're building everything from scratch. And that is a hard requirement for you in order to be a professional software developer. You will not be able to work as a professional if you don't have like a, a fairly good understanding of HTML, CSS, responsive design, and these days also you, you pretty much need to be able to work with SBA frameworks such as React, Angular, Vue, etc, etc. There's no way around that if you want to do any type of UI related work. So what I want you to take away from this is that if the, the, this question there that is, is it common for 
professional software developers to use pre-page CSS or HTML templates? No, pretty much no one uses them, apart from, as I said, freelancers with extremely small projects. The same thing goes for agencies, that they just have a very simple, simple, simple need. And amateur programmers or people who are going to put up their own WordPress site or something like that. Anybody who works as a professional software developer is going to have to more or less always build things from scratch. It's uh, very rare that you have something that is pre-made for you and then you, you just kind of fill in the blanks. You really do need to know CSS, HTML, JavaScript, etc. to the point where you can build things completely from nothing. Have a great day.